Today, I am going to show you the process of creating our application in Excel, where we can extract the relevant data by simply clicking on a specific cell. Let's get started. To begin, I will create the item master. Now add the relevant items in the respective columns. Attach images using the place in cell option. Next, convert the data ranges into an Excel table. Change the Excel table name as Item Master. Create a new worksheet for the dashboard. Now, let's create the interface for the dashboard view. Define names for each group based on the assigned categories. For example, we'll select the coffee items and define the name as coffee. This process will be repeated for other items as well. Use Excel indirect function to list the items for each category. When I change the category name, indirect function will return the item list respectively. The error appeared, because the name range we defined without space character for ice cream. We can rectify by removing the space character. Now let us reflect the category name in cell B7 dynamically, when select each category cell range.
Before that I will format the view option to return the item information, like item name, image and the selling price. Enter Excel indirect formula for the item column. Next, open the VBA editor and develop the VBA function in the worksheet dashboard. The purpose of this VBA function is, when we click on any cell in the dashboard worksheet, the particular cell address will be returned in cell B7. We define the value for X to return the selected cell address by using target.address code. Next, set the return value of X to the cell B7. But we need the content of the cell instead the cell address. Hence, I will add equal sign before the cell address. Now, the cell content is showing when we click each category. Add if error function to hide the error values. Next, I will use the Excel V lookup to return the image and the selling price. Now let us highlight the selected category for better visualization by using conditional formatting.
Apply the similar formatting for the other category cells as well. That's all for today. I hope you have learned and enjoyed this video. Watch my next episode the continuation of this tutorial to complete the point of sale application. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.